Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make a beautiful breakfast sandwich. We're going to use the Lodge cast iron griddle. And hey, just for fun, let's do it on open fire. Y'all stay tuned. <music> So right over here on Mr. Weber Kettle Grill, we got us a real fire going here. You know, I don't want to get that too hot and burn up my grill. But we're getting some real wood coals going there. And in just a few minutes, this will be ready to get uh, set up with the Lodge cast iron griddle and our little um, camp grill rack. So here are the food items you're going to need today to do this. And what we're making is a French toast sausage egg and cheese sandwich mrs backwoods love the loves these first thing you need some milk there's a little cinnamon we got some sausage here's uh, some of our homemade bread that we've cut into circles and we use this little uh, baby lodge pan to to gauge that out we have some monterey jack cheese and we got four eggs and we got this little bitty tiny little lodge pan that we're actually going to cook our egg for the sandwich in this I hope we're gonna try it anyway see how it works out and of course you're gonna need a little season there there's some Seminole Swamp Season Fire and Swamp so we just got this uh, going over here right on the Dutch oven table we brought some of the coals over to get it started put some of our smaller pieces on there log cabin style learn that let that burn down to it's almost just coals then we'll go ahead and we'll set up for the cook all right, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and soak our French toast. We're going to crack some fresh eggs from our chickens. I'll we'll put two in. We'll see how that how that looks. All right, we're going to put in just a little sprinkle of cinnamon because I the the sandwiches that my wife loves have just a little cinnamon in them. So now. I'm going to put in about, it's going to be like like a 50-50 egg to milk. So about the same amount of milk as you have eggs. I'm going to go ahead and give that a good whirl with the whisk. So it's fully incorporated. That cinnamon is going to look a little clumpy, but that's going to be all right. I might have been like one egg short there, so let's go ahead and get one more egg in it. Want to be more eggy than milky. So we'll add that guy in there. That's looking about the right color. So French toast is easy. Just take your bread, you know, dunk it, put it in there. Gonna move it over here to the pan. That's why we had a pan already. I don't want it to get too sloppy, but I do want it to soak into the bread for like a few seconds. This is our homemade bread. I'm gonna drop you a link in the description box below showing you how to make that from scratch and actually you can actually bake it right on your Weber kettle grill right outside when you're camping. All right, those are ready to go. So let's get our, we'll let these set for a minute and while we're getting our fire ready. All right, so our fire is burning down till it's getting to where it's not hardly flaming anymore. So this is time I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to put, this is our homemade rack, but they do sell, you can buy these at Walmart, Amazon, uh, Cabela's, uh, Bass Pro, the little camp grills that are portable, they fold out, all right? And uh, here today, uh, we don't really even need this top. Of course, if you have the, the one that, uh, you know, is already made, it has like a expanded metal grate over the top of it, but here... The, uh, the griddle is going to sit on there perfectly. 
So we want to keep it bunched up a little bit right now. We don't need that much cooking surface. And, but you know, we want to get even heat on that griddle too. So I've kind of spread it out just a little bit. It looks like it's time to get the griddle on. You see, I built this just out of some old angle iron. Actually, it was some bed frames. An old bed frame that I picked up on the side of the road that somebody uh, discarded. And I kind of built it, you know, to fit this griddle uh, a few years back. I'll leave you a couple links down in the description box of stuff that we've done like this in the past. Uh, way before any of you guys that have been here recently were watching this probably. So now with this space below the griddle, I've cut these small pieces, you know, like tinder. All right, small pieces of hardwood. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of, these are what we're gonna use to regulate our heat, okay? We got those coals under there now to get those going. And we'll spread out about three of them. Give them a little time, it'll be time to cook. So what we got going there now, since we put that small wood in there, we got just a little bit of flame and that's what we want with that coal base. But we're gonna to have to add Oh, sorry guys. We're going to have to add these periodically to keep that heat going. You're going to need you some tongs to take and get those in the right place. I'm going to put those, that one, crossways. Now that those other ones are going right up in the middle. As right, you can see, that center is starting to smoke a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and use the potato trick on the surface here, especially in the center. We're gonna get ready to lay our sausage down. That's gonna take the longest to cook. And I got my little pan up here, starting to get hot for my eggs. So let's go right in there with our sausage patty. You hear that sizzle, boys. Go ahead and do the potato trick on this. All the parts to our dish are done. It's going to bring over a half of our French toast with the cheese on it first. It's going to come right in with a nice, beautiful piece of sausage. And here's this egg that was done in that baby cast iron skillet. Unbelievable how that well that worked. I just, you see me just turn them right out of there, right? And then right on with the top. Here you go. That is. A French toast, bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich by the Backwoods Gourmet.
favorite sandwich for breakfast at Wawa. <laughs> Is it better than Wawa? Yep, it's better than Wawa. What do you think, Makita? Is it better than Wawa? She said, yeah. was great uh, if you like what we're doing please hit that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel you can do it right over here to watch another great backwoods gourmet video it's gonna be right up there and for a whole playlist of cooking on cast iron it's gonna be right up there we'll see you next time